Hi everyone. Welcome to the AVM Math Hub. In this video, we'll be discussing very important and interesting topic, Abacus. In Abacus, how to represent 1000 on the Abacus? Let us see the topic. Oh, oh, what about 1000? 1000 is the smallest four digit number. 1000 is the smallest four digit number. The smallest four digit number. And then what is the biggest, the largest four digit number means? Largest means, largest four digit number means four nines. Largest five digit number means five nines. Largest six digit number is six nines and so on. The smallest four digit numbers means first we can put one, the remaining all three zeros. This is the four digit number. What is the largest, what is the smallest five digit number? First we can put one, the remaining four places zero. The remaining four places we can put zero. So this is the five digit smallest four digit number. So in this topic, we'll discussing only uh, four digit number. See, the and next point. 10 ones, 10 ones is equal to 10. 100 ones equals to 100. 10 ones means we can multiply 10 with 1. 10 ones, 10. 100 ones, 100. 1000 ones equals to 1000. The similar way, 10 tens multiply 10 tens that is equal to 10 into uh, 10 tens how much 100 how we will get discussing uh, see let us see first we can write a 10 and the next we can put zero how means in tens in tens place uh, in tens contains only one zero we can add one zero here we can put one zero the beside of 10 that is equal to we get 100 and the next 100 tens first we can write 100 100 tens the tens number the 10 number contain only one zero we can put one zero beside of 100 that is equal to 1000 and 10 thousands 10 thousands equals to first we can write 10 and then thousands in the number thousand contains three zeros we can put three zeros that is equal to ten thousand and the next ten hundreds ten hundreds is equal to first we can write to ten and then after hundreds the number 100 contains two zeros. We can put two zeros here. That is equal to 1000. So this is the simplest way we have to find any number with the multiply with the 10, 100, 1000, whatever it may be. So this is the way. And the next problem. See, this is the abacus. I want to represent 4739 on the abacus. How many more beats will be needed for the thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones columns respectively? Now, I want to represent 4739 on the abacus. But here, uh, one more number is there. So, this is the, this is the ones place, tens place, hundreds place, and thousands place. On the abacus, we'll see one more number that is 1213. This is the another number. But I want to represent 4739 on the abacus. How many more beads will be needed? Already here, one 1000 is there. 
already here 1000 but we need four so we need three more beats we'll get four so here we need three and the next this is the ones place tens place hundreds place thousands place Thousands place contains four beads, but here one is there. We need three more beads here. And hundred place, uh, we need seven beads, but here already we represent two beads. So we need seven. How many more beads? Five more beads will be needed. And the next tens place, here uh, we need three beads, already one is there. So we need one two more beads needed in one's place we need nine beads three is there already three is there so we need six more beads so this is the number so how many more beads will be needed for the thousands hundreds tens and ones place so three thousand three five two six three thousand 526 so 3 beats 5 beats 2 beats 6 beats so this is the procedure already me answer lo ela isthadante 3 comma how many beats anadu kabatti 3 comma 5 comma 2 comma 6 and b 3 comma 2 comma 5 comma 6 so ela icche chances unti 6 comma 3 comma 2 comma 5 so answer is three five two this is not a number this is the beats so three five two six beats are needed to to get the number four thousand seven hundred and thirty nine okay and next problem if we subtract one thousand two from the number represented on the abacus if we subtract 1002 from the number represented on the abacus already one number represented on the abacus that is four b is the ones place this is the ones place tens place hundreds place thousands place so on the num on the abacus we represent one number that is a four one two three four thousand one hundred and twenty three so this is the one number now if we subtract 1002 from the number so 1002 if we subtract subtract means minus that is the also also called as a difference represented on the abacus how many beads has to be removed from the thousands and ones place respectively thousands and ones place respectively see listen carefully how many beats has to be removed from the thousands place and ones place thousands place and ones place so we can subtract here only thousands place and ones place ones place tens place hundreds place thousands place 4 minus 1 that is equal to 3 and one's place 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 so the answer is 3 comma 1 the answer is 3 comma 1 beats are subtracted or removed from the thousands place and ones place the remaining two places we don't discuss these two places we don't we don't talk about these two places only here asking thousands place and ones place only thousands place and ones place okay so the answer is three comma one three comma one beats are removed from the thousands place and ones place and next problem if six more balls are added in the ones place Six more balls are added in the ones place of the given abacus. Then the number will become. So here, first we write the number four, three, five, four. 
now uh, read once again the question six more balls are added in one's place so we can add plus one's place means six we get six plus four ten zero and uh, carrying one here six three four the given abacus the number will become 4360 the number will become 4360 so six more balls added to only one's place okay so next problem the number of people present in a hall is represented by the abacus given below if each room can accommodate six people, how many rooms are required? First, uh, the uh, representing number is three, three thousand one hundred and forty-four. Three thousand one hundred and forty-four. If the number of people, the number of people means three thousand one hundred and forty-four in a hall, present in one hall one big hall represented by the abacus given below if each room can accommodate six people now we distribute six peoples from this number six people six 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 and so on to different rooms this is the rooms one room second rooms third four rooms like this so we can distribute six members six peoples from this room and six peoples from this room, from this number to this room, and six peoples here, and six peoples here, and so on, like this. So, what is the procedure? What is the procedure means we can distribute, distribute means division. We can divide three, one, double, four, divided by six. So already we know the way how to divide the number three one double four by six. Six fives are thirty. We can subtract one. The carrying four six twos are twelve. Subtract we get to two, and four remaining remaining four will become six fours are twenty four. So carrying zero the remainder is zero so the quotient is 524 rooms 524 rooms needed and one more simple uh, division three one double four divided by six first take the two numbers three comma two digits three comma one we can read six table uh we'll get a uh, read the six table until we get 31 31 is not come in six table 30 will come six five are 30 six five are 30 the remaining one the remainder is one one we can add this place put one beside of four so one so one four 40 not add you can write one beside of four that is 14 again we can read six table until we get 14 14 will not come six ones are six six twos are 12 so two times 12 remove 12 remove 12 and the reminder is two we can write to two beside of four the four 24 six fours are 24 so answer is 524 so we need 524 rooms to accommodate six people from e uh, for each room. And next problem. If we add 503, 503 to the number below. So the number below means what is the number? You are not given any number. So number means represented in the Andhabakas. This is the number. So we can write first write the number to four one three so this is the number on the abacus given below means this is the number how many more balls will be needed 
for the hundreds and tens place once tens hundreds so this place and this place only two places hundreds and tens place respectively if we add 503 to the number first we add 503 2413 add 503. We get 6192. So, this is the number. Here, how many more balls will be needed for the hundreds place and tens place on the abacus? What is the hundreds place and tens place? This is the tens place and this is hundreds place. But uh, uh, what we will get the number final number so this is the final number this is the hundreds place and this is the tens place so compare these two so one one tens place one and here also tens place low one so no more balls are added so no more balls are added so tens place will be zero and four hundred plus hundred place four is there but we need nine so five more balls are added five plus four five plus four nine one plus zero one the remaining all same the remaining is same only two places they are asking only two places a hundred place and a tens place so uh, we need five and zero balls are added how many more balls will be needed means 5 comma 0 balls are needed in 100 place and 10 place. Okay. And next problem. What is the value of the digit in the thousands place? In the thousands place. So, ones place, tens place, hundreds place and thousands place. So, only we can observe in thousands place. Thousands place means this one. Ones place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place. So two bits are there. So two into thousand, two thousand. Two thousand. The value of the thousands place is two thousand. So this is the answer. Okay. Uh, thank you, children. If you have any doubts, please WhatsApp me. My WhatsApp number. Nine eight four eight six eight three five one two and one more number eight five double zero two four double six double seven. Uh, if you have any doubts, please WhatsApp me. I will respond immediately and will give the more information also. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.